Now let's take a look at how to apply a pen. So here we have a working uh, jQuery plugin and we tested out the lettering plugin and we said, hey, you know, we like the way this plugin works. We like the way this looks. Let's go ahead and add this to our project. So here is our web framework. And so you would have a copy of our web2 framework uh, by forking the framework. And so here we can simply uh, fork that framework. And yes, we want to fork this. And forking creates a branch or a copy of the framework for experimentation that we can either decide to keep or get rid of later on. Now we have a forked copy of our Web2 framework. We're going to go ahead and apply lettering. We're going to apply the lettering plugin. We're going to consider this practice. So inside of our index.html is we need to make sure that all of our files are linked up. And our process for testing a plugin is the same as it would be um, for applying the plugin. So the first place to start is make sure that jQuery is in, indeed installed. So there it is right there. And then our framework includes the UI kit framework. And then we have our icing on the cake, uh, scripts.js. So a good thing to do is run this in debug mode. And first make sure that our framework here doesn't have any errors in our console. So check, check. And it says be like browser. And that of course comes from our JS folder inside of scripts.js. So here we have a console message. So we can comment that out now that we have it working. So the next thing we need to do from our, our pen is once we have jQuery ins installed, we need to go get the plugin. In this case, the plugin is lettering.js. So here is the source for the plugin, and we can simply download this. And how you download a plugin is going to vary from site to site, but if it's on GitHub, you can simply go to the file itself. In this case, we want uh, lettering.js. And we see that same path right here, jQuery.lettering.js. And for most projects, these files are, have been assembled and provided for you in class. So, um, so if you want this file, we don't want the link to the file. We want the file itself, no different than uh, YouTube. We don't want to go to uh, YouTube and go to the URL of a URL of the, the, the video. We want the video itself, so that's why it would be inside of uh, the embed. We essentially want the, the code itself. So using that analogy, um, we're going to simply hit raw, and it's going to give us the raw version right here. And we can control click uh, save as. We're going to save this to the desktop, and then add it to our framework. So we've downloaded a local copy of jQuery lettering.js from the lettering website. We're going to upload that into, and then we're going to put this in the appropriate folder. So jQuery lettering.js goes into uh, our JS folder, and then we need to link it up. And so this is the plugin itself. Um, you're never gonna need to uh, edit this. If you have to edit a plugin, um, it, it kind of defeats the purpose of using a pre-made plugin. So we can go ahead and close that. And then we need to link it up in that same way. So we're gonna use a script tag. And probably the easiest way is to copy the script right after it, paste it in there, and just change the path. And CodePen makes grabbing the, the path very easy. We can control click, copy relative path, and paste in that new path, and then hit save. And then we can run those same checks to make sure that um, J, uh, the lettering plugin is installed. So we can refresh our console. First, we're going to hit save and, and run. Refresh our console, right? No errors, so that's good. And for ease, we can even just copy out from the pen, because once we've established that this pen is working, we can simply paste it into our scripts.js hit save again and double and refresh the debug mode and no errors but from here we can inspect that in indeed the jquery lettering plugin is working because it's adding all the extra uh, characters uh, the extra um, character wrappers the spans inside of each of these and if we were to uh, comment out or turn off the plugin temporarily 
and then refresh this, you'll notice that we no longer have those span wrappers inside of the framework. So we're going to turn the plugin back on, and there it is. Now we can modify the, uh, we can uh, add options to the plugin, and we can begin to style this any way we like. So we've taken a jQuery pen, I mean, excuse me, a code pen pen that we use as practice to make sure we understood the plugin, and then we've applied and incorporated those plugin files into our project on CodePen.